So we're up at Target. We're trying to we try not to leave Randy. That's the first thing we try not to do. Um, we're not looking for nail polish. Thank you though. Um, we're gonna try to find some personal items. Uh, come down this aisle. So school is gonna be starting soon. And we're gonna do my pampers. <laughs> he said, "Ooh, pampers." <laughs> I know they do look like them, but we're basically trying to find some hats. You guys know how we did the uh, starting your period video, and we kind of wanted to come back and make things right because in that video we got panty liners instead of actual pads, and everybody had to let us know that we got the wrong thing. Thank you for letting us know. I think we got the message now. So we're here to get the proper thing. thing I wanted to get was some little wipes um, but I always go with the fragrance free ones um, I think these are a lot better and definitely will work on people who have sensitive skin you just don't want to have any breakouts or irritation down there bye Randy he's rearranging the pampers as he call them <laughs> We need that for daddy. <laughs> daddy need that for his stinky feet? Yeah. <laughs> and my feet. Oh, they got dubs. Okay, so you can get a little. And my feet itchy. Oh, shoot. I forgot the rest. Okay. So then they got also deodorant. They got the dove. This is cute. And this is a dollar eighty nine. Oh, these are cute little bags that you can put your whole period kit in. Well, you know we can't stop in Target without stopping by the dollar section and finding some cool stuff over here. Look at this. Some good towels. Those are dry towels. Three dollars. Wireless speaker. You gotta have Wi-Fi. 
Look at this stuff over here. This is a lot of dorm room items. Oh, this is a little thing for your hair when you get out the shower. Wait, they have these little bags. Do y'all want these bags instead? Reagan, do you like this bag better? You can see through it. Oh, because you can see through it. That might be showing too much of your personal business. Oh, they got makeup brushes. Girl, this one is cute. Oh, I seen somebody with these on online. I want one of these. This is a cute one. I'm going to get this because I wanted this. Oh, this was only three dollars too. I'm going to get this. And then they got little saucer cups to go with it. Cute, cute, cute. You already got those. Yeah, you can put them back. It's the same exact thing. Oh, I didn't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They both say cute socks. Yeah, but this one might be just a little bit. 10 to 13. No, these are smaller. Put those back. Those are the small ones. Shoes. I could just imagine. Me you like those them. shoes, Rihanna? Yeah, I could just imagine me wearing them. They got a whole bunch of cute stuff over here. They'll be putting all the back to school stuff out soon. Here we are in the bra section. That one's cute. Okay, so we're over here at the bra section again. Mm, we're going to kind of go with these everyday comfort fitting ones. Just because they look more comfortable. They probably feel more comfortable. They're just basic training bra style. And I think they would be much better for you. Now, we had an excuse to hear y'all. I've been looking a mess all day. Let me get away from now so y'all can hear me good because the kids are just extremely loud over there. Y'all know how it is. The last time we were here, there were a lot of people saying, oh, they're not ready for bras. They don't need this, this, and that. And I've addressed this before in a video prior to today. Let me just explain. You don't have to be busting out of the seams like Pamela Anderson or like these to get a bra. Girls are supposed to get them in advance and get used to wearing a training bra before it's actually time to put it on. I'll break that down to you guys later in this video. For now, just kind of go along with us. Did anybody tell you to pull that out, Rihanna? You said it would be more comfortable for me. That ain't even your size. You just grabbing stuff. Mom, put that up. Mom, no, put that up. You don't need that. Now, these bras are more for like you know girls who are more showing they don't have to be bursting out of the seams but you know if you like a little a or b cup these are going to be the ones for you now here's for younger girls around like 9 10 11 small petite and yes, it does have removable pads in it, which is good because the removable pads can be taken out, put in at any time. They can also help disguise the nipples that may poke out when you wear a bra. That's not something that training bras have available in them. You know, this doesn't have the removable pads. Although this is a pretty, uh, this is pretty good thick uh, fabric. These are cute too. Is it too bright in here? Yeah, my braids are just all over the place. I feel like I want to take them down. But anyway, good morning. It's the next day. Yesterday, you guys went along with us to Target while we went to go get some things to put together little period packs and uh, some other fun stuff. Um, we looked at bras and things like that. Um, before I jump into all of that, I wanted to let you guys know some exciting news. 
some news that you guys have probably been waiting to hear for a really long time. Reagan and Rihanna are officially going to start their YouTube channel. Their channel is going to be called Drama Queens. They're going to do challenges. They're going to do beauty and fashion on their channel. Um, they're going to, of course, be vlogging. They're going to be baking. So if you're a girly girl, a tomboy, um, whatever you are, even a boy, you could go to their channel and check out some of these fun things that they'll be doing over there. They're going to start off posting one video per week, which will be on Sundays. So you guys can check them out every Sunday. Something new will uh you know, be on their channel. We're going to try to post the first video this Sunday uh, coming up. Uh, I don't ever know the exact date, but Sunday, check them out. Just make sure you subscribe, you like, and you share the videos. They're funny. It's going to be separate and different from my channel. And of course, they're still going to be featured on their, on this channel, mine, but you know, and of course, sometimes I'll be featured over there because I just will. Okay, so let's get down to business. So yesterday when we were at Target, we kept, we were trying to make these like period packs. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, can you guys see this? Cute little pack. Got this from Target yesterday. Um, if you watched the video, you saw when we picked this up. And when I say period pack, School is about to start back, so everything you need when you first start your period will be in this particular package. It's small and simple. You could just put it in your backpack, and in this period pack, there will be some things that you need when you first start your period. Now, if you want to see details of what's in this pack, you will tune in to Reagan and Rihanna's channel this Sunday, and they're going to kind of go over what's in this pack so that you guys can know what you'll need to put together your own particular period pack. Um, and if you haven't seen our actual video where we discuss how to put on a pad and the reason why you do this and whatever, go ahead and check out that video to get more details. Another thing we discussed uh, yesterday or when shopping for at Target were bras. And I've done a couple of videos already about bras, but I always find that I have to re-educate some people who watch the video and don't quite understand some of the things I say. Let me uh, pull you guys in closer. You do not wait until you are busting from the seams before you get a bra. I had to say that for some of you who don't really get the point of wearing training bras and regular bras or whatever the case may be. A lot of people think that you have to be busting out of the seams like Pamela Anderson before you actually go and pick up your first bra. But they get little knots, little tiny knots. They don't always poke out, but they're there. They start to feel a little pain or tension there where the breasts are going to start growing. They call them, I guess, breast buds. Um, I could be saying it incorrectly. If I am, guys, leave a comment below and tell me the correct way to say it. But you get those little tiny knots inside that tells you that your breasts are finally starting to come in. Um, you want to start wearing a training bra when that comes. Even if you're not poking out or sticking out, you need to wear a training bra because basically that is preparing you to to be able to wear a bra on a regular basis. That is kind of um, getting you ready and prepared to wear a bra for the first time. Um, you don't wait until you're full breasted before you go out and buy your first training bra, which is a misconception that a lot of people have. If you decide that you know you would want to have a bra with removable pads where you can wear them sometimes and go without them that's perfectly fine nobody's gonna die from wearing a bra that has pads in it okay and you don't have enough breasts for those pads to push anything up to make you look older than what you really are so guys calm down with all the comments about being upset about a girl wearing bras with pads 
it's not a big deal. Those pads, sometimes girls who are sporty, sporty girls, they wear them to, you know, like if they get bumped into, sometimes they might add a little protection. Sometimes girls' breasts grow in kind of lopsided or one goes, grows bigger than the other and those pads are there to just kind of even things out. Um, sometimes they wear them because they don't want their little nipple to pick, poke out when they wear certain shirts or whatnot. And that those little pads add that extra um, blockage between the nipple and the shirt. Um, because, you know, at this age, girls are still kind of embarrassed about those type of things. So that just gives them a little bit more coverage. I feel whatever makes you comfortable, you should go with it. You don't have to worry about what other people say. Oh, girls usually don't wear those kind of bras until they're 12 or 15. No, girls can wear those kind of bras when it's time for them to wear that, when they feel comfortable and when they want to wear it. And if their parents feel that it is the right thing for them to do. So... A lot of you guys in the comments that are, are saying that girls shouldn't wear those type of bras, you have no idea what you're talking about. Some of you are either too young to know what you're talking about, and some of you are just on here playing around being silly. Some of you just are looking on the internet to find a YouTuber to criticize and be mean to. I don't have time for that, okay? Like I said before, bye Felicia. Goodbye. So anyway... What I'm trying to explain is you do what's best for you. I'm so excited for you guys to see what Reagan and Rihanna's channel has to offer. Um, remember, Drama Queens, go over there, find out what is going to be in their period pad. Uh, period pad. Their period bags. Um, there's going to be a lot of back to school videos that they're going to be doing pretty soon. They're going to just be having a lot of fun on their channel. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys can go over there and check them out. Learn a little bit from them, laugh a little bit, maybe even cry, hopefully not cry, but just enjoy yourself watching their channel. This has been a long time in the making, and uh, we do appreciate all of you who have been supportive of this channel, and we hope that you can continue to support their channel, and so on and so forth. So thank you guys, have a good day, and see you in my next video.